The movie starts with the beautiful view of the house all around the trees and the green. It shows the happy and beautiful family, playing, eating, and enjoying the company of each other. This beautiful and happy family consists of a few members, Ella, her parents, and a few servants. The sad period started when Ella's mother fall sick. That was a turning point in the life of a young and beautiful girl Ella. Her mother advised her to always remain kind and face everything bravely. Things become challenging and tough for Ella and her father but they accepted the reality. They tried to live a life like ever. After her mother, Ella becomes close to her father. Her father took her responsibilities and takes much care of her like her mother. Time flies. Now Ella was a grown-up girl. Once again in Ella's life, a tough time started when one evening her father comes with his second wife. She was a widowed woman, whose husband had recently died. Her name was Lady Tremaine. Lady Tremaine was an aged but modern woman, who married Ella's father and came to live with her husband along with her two daughters, Anastasia and Drizella. Ella was not happy with these inevitable relatives. She was not prepared for this situation yet. It wasn't a plan nor she was expecting something like this in her life, as her father never shared it with her. However, remembering her mother's advice and for the sake of her father's happiness, she accepted it and welcomed them wholeheartedly. Lady Tremaine was a bold and modern woman. While entering the house, she starts to take a control of everything and therefore, arranged a welcome party for herself. She invited her friends to the party, they were chatting, laughing, playing cards, eating and drinking freely without any hesitation. However, nobody cares about Ella at that time. They don't want to welcome her into their gathering. Ella feels uncomfortable and a misfit at this party. Perceiving the situation, she left from there. She runs to her animal friends and plays with them. However, she couldn't control her emotions and run to her father, who was working in his workspace. He told Ella about his business trip and that he is leaving tomorrow. Due to this, Ella starts crying and they both become emotional. However, Ella's stepmother, Lady Tremaine was watching the emotional attachment and the strong bonding between Ella and her father, which made Lady Tremaine jealous. She felt insecure about herself and her daughters. Ella was a hurdle for the bright future of her daughters. She thinks that it is only her right on the time, love, emotions and money of Ella's father. Therefore, in her heart, she decided to take all the facilities from Ella. The next morning, Ella's father left. Suddenly, Lady Tremaine changed her behavior towards Ella. She becomes a cruel stepmother. She asked Ella to leave her room and shift to the attic as it is only her daughter's right to live in that room. It was a very difficult situation for Ella. Her memories and the things were in this room, which her parents had decorated for her. As there was nobody to favor her, she left the room sadly and shifted into the attic. People like Ella are very rare in this world. They know how to stay positive and calm in every situation. These type of people always have a special reward for their patience from God. Ella adjusted herself in the attic too. She starts living happily, chatting and playing with her tiny animal friends. She taught that it is good to live here, as she will not face her stepmother and the stepsisters over and over. Unfortunately, she was wrong here. Her stepmother and sisters start buttering her up. They insist on her doing the house chores, buttering that she is the best. They left no space for her and were treating her like a servant. Life becomes difficult for Ella. She becomes tired, but she was hopeful that when her father will return everything will come back to routine. But less, that was not what nature had planned. The climax comes in the movie when one day a servant comes to the door of the house, crying. This was the same man who goes with Ella's father on a business trip. He gave Ella the news of her father's death. He said that her father bitterly fall sick on their return from the business trip and died. That was shocking news for Ella. She couldn't believe her ears. Her life was ended, there was darkness everywhere. She had no shelter left, all that was left was that she was now alone and sad. One other thing, that was also killing her deep inside her heart was that now she will spend her entire life facing the credulity and the hatred of her stepmother and the stepsisters. Now Lady Tremaine thinks that it is useless to keep the servants and pay them monthly, when she has Ella do all the house chores. Therefore, to save money she terminates all the servants from the house. Ella becomes sad and was in tension because she was also emotionally attached to the servants. Lady Tremaine put all the burdens and the responsibilities of the house on the sensitive shoulders of Ella. It was Ella who was supposed to cook, clean and wash cloths and the dishes. She was only given the leftover food which she ate and shared with her animal friends. When the winter comes, the situation becomes worse. The attic becomes freezing cold and it was impossible to sleep there. The long stairs in the cold attic, insisted Ella to sleep on the floor of the kitchen on winter nights. Because of sleeping next to fire, Ella's beautiful face caught the signs of cinder. Due to this her step-family starts teasing her and called her Cinderella. Here, the word Cinderella signifies the title of the movie too. Distraught from everyone, Ella starts riding her horse and goes far from the house into the woods. She was roaming in the forest when she saw a stag that was supposed to be hunted by the prince and his army. Ella shouts toward the stag to run and at the same time, her horse also becomes out of control and starts running. 
The prince on his horse comes to save the life of Ella. He told her that he is a servant of the prince from the palace. Together they had a chat and played. They spent quality time with each other but soon Ella leaves without telling him her identity. The next day, King got sick. He called the prince and told him that he should get married soon, as it is his last wish to see him as a king in his life. King asked him to select a princess for himself at the royal ball. Listening to this, Prince said that every citizen should be invited to the ball including the maidens too. The prince intended to find Ella and marry her. He was in love with her. King agrees to this condition of the prince. The next day, the prince's men announced the market and invited all the citizens, including the rich and the poor to the royal ball. That news was surprising for the common people. Ella was also present there. She went home and excitedly told Lady Tremaine about the invitation. She thinks that in this way it could be possible for her to meet Kit, for her Kit was a servant in the palace. Sadly, Lady Tremaine ignored Ella and ran toward her daughters in the excitement. Lady Tremaine dreamed that if a prince will marry any one of her daughters, then their life can be changed and she will rule the whole palace. Now the scene shifts toward the prince in the palace. Prince has been seen lost in his thoughts thinking about Ella every time. His captain also noticed that he is not focused on his work. However, the prince is also worried about the king's decision. The preparations started at Ella's house. Her stepmother, Lady Tremaine was focused on the style of her daughters. She bought them the new expensive dresses too. But there was no dress for Ella. She was teaching her daughters to dance gracefully at the royal ball. Ella becomes worried, she desired to meet Kit at the ball. Thinking about it she starts preparing a dress for herself from the dresses of her mother. Finally, the night comes, and everyone was waiting. Lady Tremaine and her daughters were ready to leave for the ball in their fancy dresses. Ella also comes from the attic wearing the pink dress of her late mother. Seeing it, they start laughing and tease Ella. Even Lady Tremaine tore her dress in the hatred. She left no chance for Ella to attend a ball. Ella starts crying near the pond. After that, she runs towards the garden and was crying when she watched an old lady. That lady asked for some milk and Ella gives a bowl of milk to her. Suddenly, that old lady transformed into a beautiful woman. That woman told Ella that she is her fairy godmother. She asked Ella to wait and see her magic. She transferred the pumpkins into the carriage, mice into the horse, lizards into the footman and the goose into the coachman. After that, she transforms Ella's dress into a very beautiful blue dress like a princess. She also noticed her dismal shoes and gives Ella the iconic glass heels. She warned Ella that she is supposed to return before midnight. If she would be late everything would come back to its original shape. She also does magic on Ella so that her step family would not recognize her. At the ball, everyone has already arrived. All the princesses from the kingdom were there. But the prince was not interested in anyone because he was waiting for Ella. King sensed the prince's feelings too. At last, to make the king happy, the prince invited any princess to dance with him. The celebrations were going to start when all of the sudden, Ella enters. Her entrance was so mesmerizing that everyone starts looking at her. They adored her charm and beauty. The prince's happiness was unconditional. Everyone makes a way for the two lovers. However, Ella was surprised, for her kit was a servant. She asked him why they are glaring at him due to which the prince replied that they are watching her beauty. Prince becomes very excited. He brings Ella with him and showed her his secret garden. He even gives a swing to her. They were dancing and enjoying themselves together. When the prince asked Ella about her identity at the same time she remembers that it is going to be midnight. She starts running to where her cart was present. Prince was running behind Ella to stop but he couldn't. Finally, Ella becomes successful to run from the palace. On the way, when it was midnight, everything comes to its original shape and now Ella goes home walking. In the attic she hides one shoe, and the other shoe she left at the palace in hurry. On the other side, the king becomes very ill. He permitted the prince to marry a girl of his choice, due to which the prince becomes very happy. Now Prince ordered his army to find a girl, whose foot fits this shoe. The army went to every house, and every girl tried this shoe but nobody's foot fit this properly. The last home was of Lady Tremaine. She locked Ella in the attic and ordered her to not come out. When the army was going back after checking the shoe in the fat feet of Lady Tremaine's daughters, suddenly, the window of the attic opened by chance. Ella was singing Lavender's Bird. The prince was also disguised as one of the army members. He ordered his captain to go to the attic and check. After so many struggles Prince found Ella and the shoe fits on her foot. They both went to the palace and got married. A kingdom was blessed with a kind and courageous queen, Cinderella. 